Hey man Bricks viewers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the behind the scenes of my new movie that I announced in my previous video. So yeah, this is the behind the scenes, the set, everything that I'll be using for my movie, how I do stuff and everything, what app I use, everything is in this video. So if you guys wanna hear it out, make sure you guys stay watch the entire video because it everything we scrambled in or be in the middle of each video so yeah let's get on with this video but well, first of all uh, I haven't like f decided the entire story yet but I do have a main plan during the time when I reach that time like when I do the end I will change stuff or I would plan that time but I, I right now I have the main stuff that I want for this v movie and yeah that's what I do so yeah, right now, um, I'm going to be going up giving a montage of actually not in my real studio or where I in my room where I film my videos I'm actually in my friend's house but I did bring some Lego so I did have to make the scene and make the entire movie with the pieces I had and what I could do so yeah so I had this big container with the pieces I brought and I had to do what I could do with the pieces I tried to add all 100% level of detail as I could but as you guys know I couldn't do that, that much. I still left a lot of bricks in my room. So yeah, hold on tight. So the app that I am using in this movie um, is not iMotion. It's actually I uh, Stop Motion Studio because it has the like I can have the uh, it has the option for me to erase objects, um, and you'll see why I use that in this clip over here, or maybe not this clip. Probably guys, it's in the like. I'll tell you guys in the, in the video. So yeah, I'm using stop motion studio, not iMotion. So yeah, that's good. And um, in a later video, I would give a comparison between both of these two apps, but not just now. So yeah. Here's a camera roll of uh, like a little bit of the photos that I took. And here is also a scene that I did that will be coming in the movie. So a small little sneak peek, I would say, of this. And here is why I will be using this movie. So as you guys can see, the ball is flying up and down. So I had to erase the objects that made it fly up and down. So that's why I use Stop Motion Studio and not iMotion. Because Stop Motion Studio has the opportunity. So yeah, now I should told you guys what app I am using. A uh, like small little behind the scenes or the sh like scene or the entire studio uh, that the movie is on, and yeah. So d in the upcoming near future, I will be giving you guys um uh, like tutorials on how to make this thing happen. I'm using blue tack to stick my scene, uh, so it doesn't shake and cause distractions or anything during the movie, but. Yeah, but my movie does have a little bit of shaky as I'm not a pro at stop motion. I'm still just a beginner. I've just done probably it's the fourth movie of Brody Mark. So yeah, the reason why I'm using stop motion studio as is because I can erase this and when I erase it, it looks like the ball is actually flying. So that's the reason why I am using stop motion studio and not iMotion. So yeah, at the end of the day, I am like I'm doing at least one scene per day of movie making and not like the entire movie in one day cuz that is completely impossible unless if you want the movie to turn out really bad, which I don't want to happen. So yeah. So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, comment down below on any tutorials you want to see on this movie. I'll see you guys again later. Bye. What's up guys? Welcome back. I just want to show, tell you guys that you guys can follow me on Instagram and you guys can see the behind the pics, behind the scenes of my new videos and upcoming stuff that will be coming on this channel, Man Bricks. And so yeah, see you guys there. Follow me on Instagram.